So I'm trying to make these videos as short as possible, but I think the further I go into the different uh, chapters, the videos are going to get longer. So um, just bear with me. I want to be able to explain to you guys what I'm doing. So in case you want to do it, you kind of have a little bit of direction. Uh, this is more for uh, entertainment, informational purposes, but it's n I'm not trying to teach anything because I'm, I'm winging this on my own. So I'm still just very new at this. Um, so here... I got a two by two. This way your plywood doesn't fly out. Your flooring doesn't fly out. So a two by two should be sufficient. If not, then I'm gonna have to add another one much thinner. I'm hoping I don't have to go through that route. Um, I put the lining on there pretty, it's heavy duty. It's what it says on the, on the thing. It was 12 bucks, but you know what? Honestly, I'm gonna be insulating the crap out of this on the bottom. So I don't see, I don't, I don't even know. I think this is good, nothing wrong. Um, so let me show you guys how I inserted this because we got, we got iron, this is iron. Um, so what I did is I went to Home Depot and I bought these guys. I'll put the box right over here so you guys can see it. Please excuse my, my nails. My nails didn't. Um, so these are 12 by one inch. Uh, these are perfect perfect for uh, framing your roof even including additional uh, you know studs on top of the roof for better support uh, they're great for metal on metal now the tricky part and why I'm showing you guys this step is because they are they don't do good with wood you have to be very 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 careful with that um, so here's how you can do it to attach it to wood so that wood doesn't crack. You wanna go ahead and first drill through the metal part. And this is gonna go underneath so you can see what I'm looking at. So you wanna drill, oh, where am I, where am I there? Through the metal. Once you drill through, you wanna go past it very lightly so you have an indent of your first stud, okay? Into, I mean, you have, you have an indent of your first drill into your wood okay once you have an indent but don't go all the way through otherwise you'll crack the wood you want to get your drill bit which is this guy and figure out which size you're going to need this is the right size for me i don't know what size it is but it was perfect then i went ahead and went under the hole that i created and i went through into the wood be careful not to go past it okay once you do that then you can go ahead and grab redo this again go all the way in through the wood and you shouldn't have a problem there shouldn't be any cracks when you do that you're going to do the same thing with this the same thing with your next one the next one now i didn't want to waste any wood i do have some more two by twos over there and i didn't want to waste them because so i want to use them for the framing of the bathroom so what i did is i got an extra piece of wood and it's okay if I have a gap here. I could always fill it with something, either silicone or maybe wood, uh, some uh, wood uh, filling. I missed a spot here, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut a little bit more so it's nice and flushed. But here's where I'm at right now. And I hope this was helpful. Um, the flooring is coming out great. I can't wait to put the actual vinyl on top and I'll see you guys in the next video.